Hey guys, welcome to the 122nd C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to continue showing you how to use the pen class a little bit more. So for this tutorial, you're going to need to have uh, a panel, just like the last tutorial, and when the user clicks it, um, have a new pen be created. It doesn't really matter what the width of the pen is or what color it is. I just have it currently set to red, and it's currently two pixels wide. And um, just create new graphics for your panel so that we can draw. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to draw an arc. And an arc is, or drawing an arc is very similar to drawing a pie. So for, the first thing that it calls for is a pen. So we're just going to pass through our pen here. And then the x is the x coordinate where it's going to start. I'll just put it at 20 and 20 for the y as well. The width is just like how wide the arc will be. I'm just going to make it to 20. Uh, actually, I'll make it 100 and 100 for the height as well. All right, so this is where it gets into like similar to drawing a pie. So the start angle is like the angle that it starts at. So just like the pie, if we set it to zero, it would start like out here and then it would like start sweeping around this way. So I'm just going to put it to zero right now. And then the sweep angle is how far around the circle it'll sweep. So how big the arc you want it to be. So if you wanted to have an arc that was like 20 degrees, then you just put 20 right here. So I'm going to make it 90 for right now. And this will just make it so you'll be able to like see it and understand what I'm talking about. So now I'm going to debug here and just click. It should just draw an arc. Yep, it just drew an arc. And as you can see, it's 90 degrees. It starts right here since we had it be 0, and then it sweeps around clockwise. So if we were to make this be 180 degrees right here, then it would just it'll start here and then sweep around till up there. Yep, perfect. And if we made it 360, it'll just draw a complete circle. Yep, perfect. All right, the next thing that I'm going to be showing you is the draw bezier. I, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that, but. Um, Basically, it's just a spline, and um, a spline is basically just a curved line. So, if we put like four points down here, which we're going to have to, it's just going to like make a curved line, similar to like a snake, I guess. So, we're just going to pass through our pen here, then our first point, create a new point. I'll make it be just 20, 20, then another point at, I don't know, 30, 60. New point at mm, 40, no, 70, 40. Um, and the last point, I'll make it to be um, 50, 80. Alright, so hopefully this makes a curve. Yep, curved line. And you can mess with this a little bit, like changing the points around. So if we drastic, drastically change one of these, like maybe it's like a hundred or something, you'd obviously see a huge difference in the curve. Yeah. All right. And the last thing that I'm going to be showing you how to do is draw a line. So I'm just going to do g dot draw line. And this is very simple. You just put pass through your pen. The starting point, I'll just make that be zero, 0, so 0, 0, and I'll make the ending point be, um, I don't know, 100, 100. Alright, so now I'm going to debug here and click, we should just get a line that's straight down. Yep, and you can obviously mess with this just like anything else, so if you wanted to make this be... I don't know, like, a, like not as steep a slope. We can just change the y, and it won't be as steep. Yep, perfect. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.